Did you know that ADHD is a developmental challenge? And what does that mean? It means if you have ADHD, you are 30% behind other people developmentally. Now, this doesn't really show up so much as an adult in your 20s and 30s, but if you're a child with ADHD or a parent of a child with ADHD, you're really going to see these developmental challenges, particularly at key moments in the child's development, like going from elementary school to middle school, or middle school to high school, or high school to college. These are big transition points. And if you're 30% behind, or your child is 30% behind, that means that when they go to high school at 14, all the other kids are going to be at that age developmentally, but you or your child may be more like 11. And that's a big age gap to be able to go to high school and deal with all the social pressures of a high schooler when you're only 11 or 12 developmentally. Of course, physically, you're 14, but developmentally and emotionally, you're more like an 11 or 12 year old. And this doesn't affect your intellect either. You could be very bright, but still have the emotional age of a middle schooler going into high school. This was certainly true for me. And I was small for my age. And then going into high school was really challenging and frankly, overwhelming. And it took a couple years for me to catch up, so to speak. This 30% difference in emotional age also has a big impact on college because other kids are 18 going to college. You might be 18, but emotionally you're more like 16. And there you are thrown into a big campus and there's no structure and no parents and no teachers telling you what to do. And that can be very overwhelming. What I always tell parents of kids going into college with ADHD, or if you are yourself approaching college with ADHD, think about a gap year. Think about a year between college and high school to work but really just to let yourself, your brain develop. This is gonna help a lot. By the time you get to college, you'll be a little bit older, a little bit more mature, and most importantly, ready to deal with the stresses of living on your own. And the gap year, you can travel, you can work, you can do something fun, you can get admitted to the university, and then you can defer the admission. But you know, understanding that these developmental challenges do happen, particularly before you're in college, is very important. And then there's one final one, it's after college, you know, the adulting years in your 20s. And it does take a longer time for young people with ADHD to really find their footing. And so if you're a parent of a young person graduating college, you know, it's very important to know that it could take them 10 years to become an adult in uh, the full sense of getting a job and feeling responsible. So managing your own expectations about when your child becomes an adult is uh, really important so you don't put added pressure on them. They're trying their hardest. For more tips on ADHD, follow my channel. Thank you very much.